Hi, my name is Neil Raker. I'm an application engineer with Xair Corporation. Today I want to speak to you about our ultrasonic leak detector, show you the components of the kit, show you the features of the leak detector itself, and also show you how to use it to find a leak in a compressed air pipe. The leak detector kit consists of a hard shell case with foam lining, the leak detector itself, a set of headphones to hear the audio output signal, a parabola for long distance sensing, and also a tube and adapter for close up sensing to discern between leaks in various joints. Also included is a 9 volt battery and an instruction manual on how to use the unit and all the different types of purposes you can serve. Next, I would like to show you the features of the leak detector itself. The very first item is going to be the high-low volume switch for the headphones, and then you're going to have the coarse sensitivity adjustment. On the right, you're going to have a thumb wheel with a fine sensitivity adjustment, and you also hear that in the headphones as well. Lower left, you have a battery indicator. Green is good, red is low, and then Towards the top right, you have an LED indicator that gives you the uh, relative intensity of the uh, sound level that it's detecting. Finally, at the top, we have the sound collector. And in the back, we have a battery compartment for a 9 volt battery. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is show you how to use the leak detector to find a leak in a compressed air pipe. You noticed I have the parabola snapped onto the sensing head. This allows for uh, me to pull in a sound level from a far distance. Next thing I do is set the sensitivity to the lowest possible, turn on the unit. We're using, an audio, we're using an audio amplifier here to demonstrate the sound that you can hear through the headphones. So I turn up the sensitivity. You can see we don't need to turn it up too loud. You get the LED indicator. And it tells me, basically it tells me I have a problem in this general vicinity. But the problem is, is I've got multiple connections in this area, so I need to be able to figure out which one it is. So for that purpose, I snap that off, and then I use the tube attachment to be able to discern between the different connections. Snap that on, turn the unit back on again, and I start making my way. Okay. Right there. That very loud sound right there and also which is indicated by the LED meter that that right here is where my compressed air leak is. So now I know where to fix the pipe, make the fit, make the repair, and no more leakage in this area. Okay, that concludes my demonstration. What I wanted to do in this final segment was to answer a couple of general questions that we get quite often about the ultrasonic leak detector. First question that we get quite often is how small of a leak can it detect? The smallest leak would be defined as a hole that's anywhere between five ten thousandths of an inch and fifteen thousandths of an inch in diameter. Uh, lowest pressures are in the area of one and a quarter to three inches of water column. The other question that we get is, can it be calibrated? The answer to that question would be no. Uh, the ultrasonic leak detector is just that. It's a detector. It is not a meter. It's not calibrated in any unit of measure, so we can't perform that kind of a service for you on the unit. With that, this concludes my presentation. Again, my name is Neil Raker. I'm an application engineer for Xair Corporation. If you have any questions about the ultrasonic leak detector or any of our other products, please give us a call at 1-800-903-9247. Thank you.